Hey there, everybody. Here again, talking about some more Emacs stuff. This is kind of a um, an impromptu video. Uh, was not very planned, but just to go through some some things that I've been doing recently. Uh, there was a certain functionality that I was curious to see um, if it was possible in org mode. Uh, so basically, long story short, um, I'm going to be doing another video about that, but. Um, what happened was that functionality that I was looking for was actually, it, it existed in the org contrib packages. Uh, so I've, I've seen these before. I never knew what they were or what the deal was with them, uh, but I, I knew about them and uh, wanted to, uh, never had a, a reason to learn about them until now. So basically I had a few options, which was um, uh, basically to, to just grab this this one single list file from the contrib packages, load it into my configuration so I could use that functionality, or actually install the contrib packages. Um, so why don't we go ahead and first talk about what those are? So you'll see here they're basically um, contributed packages to org mode, um, and they're in their own repository. And the the deal with these is that uh, there's additional functionality, additional packages. Um, most of which I believe, or at least some of which have not been incorporated into the main source for, for org mode. Um, so you'll see here, um, I believe there's a few that have been, but a lot of them that, that haven't been. So you basically can include them optionally in your org mode configuration. If there's a specific, uh, if there's a specific feature that you're looking for here, there's one for, uh, taking and managing screenshots. Uh, one for Sudoku. That's funny. The other day, I was just thinking, I wonder if there's Sudoku and Emacs, and, and there it is. So you, you can create Sudoku games in org tables. Uh, so that's interesting. So I guess you can create your own puzzles. Well, anyway, um, oh, look at this, table of contents in a separate buffer. Well, anyway, this is all some, some interesting stuff, and there was one of these that I wanted to use to extend um, some possibilities, basically with exporting. So I thought I would go ahead and install this, but the thing is I ran into some issues. It's not exactly straightforward on, on how you can install this. So the one way was to include the, the um, I guess, the, the, org, the org ELPA um, repository. Uh, I forget exactly which one it was, but whichever one it was, I added it to my my package configuration where I have, uh, you know, the, the I basically have a Melpa repository added. Uh, so I added this repository and then installed it, and I got this warning to use a different one because this repository was going to be phased out in the next version of org mode. So every time I opened an org an org file, I would get this error, which I guess is, is it's a pretty it's a pretty old error. Uh, so there were some some forum posts about it. Um, but that was the first time I'd seen it. So um, so getting that error, I thought, okay, so which which one am I supposed to do? And I, I found the the non a non GNU uh, Elpa repository, which I think was the correct one. Well, anyways, I found one that that I, I believe was correct, and I added it to my package configuration, installed it. But what it does, it it installed, uh, of course, for the org contribs. I guess org is a um, it brings in org as well. So it installed and the it installed, I guess, a newer version of org mode on top of the existing one that's in um, the Emacs uh, version that I have. Um, so that created some errors in the org agenda. It's, it's a lot of fun. But uh, um, so and it's always funny describing this kind of stuff to, to people who don't use Emacs. They just scratch their heads like, why do you why do you bother to do all this stuff? But in, in the long run, as you'll see in the next video, it's worth it uh, to get the the functionality that you're looking for. Um, so, so where was I? So I was getting these errors in the org agenda, and I looked up the error, and it was about um, some of the issues people were having was that there was a mismatch between org versions and Emacs versions and all this stuff. Uh, so I thought, well, you know, what what should I do now? So basically, I just tried to revert back. I I deleted the additional org packages that were installed, the, the org contrib packages and the the whatever newer version of org mode that it installed. I deleted those and then restarted Emacs. Uh, but the 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 use package declarations and, and things that I had 
put in there from before to install the stuff were still in my configuration. So it pulled them back down and reinstalled them. But then that seemed to fix everything. The, the org agenda was working. I had access to the contrib packages as well. So I could, you know, require whichever packages I wanted. So deleting and reinstalling fixed the other error. So it's all working. So let's actually take a look at it now, because what I'm going to do is replicate that process uh, to see if it works again, because this was on my work computer. So there's, there's the long story. Um, so let's go ahead and do it here. So this is my this is my Emacs configuration here. Uh, what I did was I set up two separate branches, one for my work computer and one for my personal computer because they both use Emacs. And sometimes if I'm trying a configuration on one end and uh, you know want to leave the other one the other workstation alone, um, Git is really good with that uh, because I can either I can either revert things to previous versions or just have separate branches. So this is the um, this is the branch for my for my work computer. So you see it's 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 one commit ahead here. And um, let's look at the diff from my config file. So you can see what I added here now um, was these different package archives. So. Originally, I just had this one line here for for Melpa, and you'll see what I did here was um, I changed this to include Melpa, the non GNU archive, and the and I guess the Elpa as well. So this basically changes it from from one package archive listed to uh, this this list here, and that's that worked pretty well. I also added this section here about um, how to use the the org contrib packages so what it does was this this huge use package declaration goes out installs the org contrib stuff from the from the uh, the non gnu archive there and ensures it to make sure it's installed and then i require the package i wanted which was ox extra and then this is uh, this is an option for that this was the functionality i wanted right here ignore headlines uh, so basically, if you you can mark using this package, you can mark certain headings in your org document uh, to be uh, basically uh, ignored so that the content of the heading is still there in the export, but the heading itself is not. So that's different from there is a, there is a, um, a no export tag where you can actually completely exclude a whole section and its content from the export. Uh, there's there's many instances in which you might need that. This one's different because all it does is it takes the heading out. Um, so I'm going to do a video about that. It's basically because if let's say you're writing a document and it um, you have different sections and you might be reordering and organizing those sections in different ways, but the final article or the final export is just going to be the text and you don't want the headings. Um, so instead of actually just going through and deleting all the headings, because then you lose the organizational functionality, you can use this package to just get rid of the headings. So it's it's like just just the text basically. And again, there's there's many instances in which you might want something like that. So uh, so what's next? So now that this was the this was the configuration that I had on my other workstation. So I'm going to uh, basically um, instead of merging these, I want to keep those two branches separate. And you know, just maybe do it the stupid way, but um, it's it's the easier way for me. Basically, I'm I'm going to grab the the raw changes and um, and incorporate them into my file uh, wholesale, and then commit them to the to the master branch there. Uh, so yeah, I know that's not the that's probably not the best way to do it, but that's the easiest way. So let's see. Hmm. I like the way this uh, this Git program shows you the the different changes and things. So let's go ahead and it's going to add these to my config here. Okay. We don't want the plus signs, and we don't need this anymore. All right, so now we have the package archives. Oh, and that must be the first attempt I had at the org contrib section. We don't want that anymore. Let's grab the new one here. Yeah, I 
use the macro. Okay. Um, I believe that's all correct. Now, the contents here should match the other one. Let's tangle this. All right, so now that's been tangled, I'm going to go ahead and close Emacs and reopen it, and let's see, let's see what happens. There's Emacs, okay. All right, so you can see it's it's reaching out to the package archives, reaching out. Should be pulling the stuff down. Yeah, I can see them there, it looks like. You should see them in the bottom here. So what I'm expecting is either it's going to work right away or I'm going to replicate that error that I had in the org agenda, which was basically telling me I had an invalid date function. Um, and if we do see that error, I'm going to... Ooh, I'm running out of time. There's something else I have to do after this uh, impromptu video. Uh, so it looks like it's it's doing quite a bit here because it's it's installing org mode again, which is fine because I'm assuming that's a newer version of org mode, which is not bad. I'm sure it's the latest and greatest. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's see. All right, let's close Emacs and try again because it. So, the issue with finding, not finding Ox Extra, because that's I remember I required that. So if it can't find it, um, it could just be, it could just be a glitch. So let's let's try it again. Oh, so now it's grabbing org contrib. Interesting. Okay, I see my theme came up. So looks like like some errors there. That's fine. That at least that wasn't the error that um, it couldn't find the the package I wanted. So let's see. Let's open the agenda. Okay, so the agenda works. So we're not getting the agenda error. Let's see if um, let's see if it found my package. Okay, so what this package does, as I said, is it lets you take headings and ignore them. So let's take heading one. We give it a tag of ignore. This is the heading content. So let's see now if I export this to let's say HTML if it ignored the heading. It's going to open up, uh, I believe, Firefox to to show me. There it is. Wow, OK, so it didn't even give me the, the agenda issue. All right, so long story short, everybody, I need to go. But we got the we got the contrib packages installed successfully. Um, I'll put I'll put the um, the the, the ELISP code and everything for this on my website, and it should be in the link in the description. But I have to go. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.